I am Keith Hunt, the sales manager for Harvest Master. This is the H2 Classic Grain Gauge. The H2 Classic Grain Gauge is the latest in a long line of grain gauges and on combine weighing systems from Harvest Master. The basic design of it is based off of the original grain gauge developed by Harvest Master more than 20 years ago. Some of the key features of it is 20 liter weigh bucket positioned on two precision load cells with a test weight uh, cup underneath it. The test weight cup consists of a moisture sensor, has a top gate and a bottom gate. The design of the test weight cup is controlling the amount of grain and controlling the grain flow into the uh, test bucket. So as grain flows into the big bucket, the top gate will open up, allowing grain to flow into the test weight cup, then it closes, then it makes a measurement, and then empties everything out. The uh, importance of controlling the grain flow in around the moisture sensor um, controls the compaction, will increase the accuracy of your moisture, sen moisture measurement, also the accuracy of your test weight measurement. The, the weight measurement is part of the DSP electronic module. The typical uh, weight bucket systems for on-combine measurement just use averaging to um, get you the weight reading. With the DSP module, we add patented slope and motion. The slope and motion sensor compensates the, the weight reading based on excessive vibrations and movement of the combine, resulting in uh, very accurate weight measurement. So one of the key components of the H2 Classic Grain Gauge is the MIRIS software that does all the control and, and storage of data. Within the MIRIS software, we have um, the main screen. From the main screen, you can go into diagnostics. You can then check your load cells. You can check your raw readings. Um, look at your moisture sensor. Make sure everything is functioning and operating as, as you want. Um, within the setup menu, there are a couple key uh, settings that are useful. One is uh, calibration wizards that step you through calibrating the weights, calibrating the, the volume of the system, and, and making sure you get the most accurate settings there. Um, moisture sensors, you're allowed, you can go into uh, individual moisture sensors and adjust the, the calibration curve. You can dump samples through and fine-tune your moisture curves again so you get the, the most accurate uh, moisture readings that you can. Um, field maps within MIRIS can either be imported from programs like Excel or ARM or Agribase, or they can be um, created on the fly just using, using the, the menu items from MIRIS. Um, as you go into harvest mode, after you've created your field map, um, you set your navigation pattern, where you want to start, what location you want to start. Um, you set your starting location, you set your direction of travel, you set the type of data you want to collect, weight, moisture, and test weight. Then you select a moisture curve, and then it takes you into the main mirror screen. Within the main mirror screen, there is a lot of customization that you can, you can uh, set up to to give you the most visibility and the best information that you need. There's, there's a list screen that shows you the historical data, a spatial view that shows your current location, a form view that shows your current plot, and then uh, a real-time weight screen that allows you to um, see the grain as it flows into the bucket and, um, um, and see how much grain you have in there. You can customize these by pressing the quad screen. The quad screen allows you to select different settings like maybe the, the cycle so you can see individual cycles of the grain gauge. Um, or you can uh, stay with the, uh, the, the default settings. To begin harvest, um, you press the start button. Then you, as you start to harvest, um, grain is going to flow into the bucket. Once all the grain is into the bucket, then you press the, the cycle button either on the screen or on the, on the combine, and it will initiate the sequence. So now that we have the grain in here, you can see that in your, your main screen here, you've got, you can see the real-time weight, and that changes as the, uh, as the grain flows in and it, it settles down once all the grain is in there. Um, once I press the cycle button, you'll watch the sequence of the test weight cup where the top door will open up, close, take the moisture and test weight readings, empty everything out, and then be ready for the next plot.
So the top gate opens, closes, it's making a measurement now, empties all the grain out, and now it's ready for the next, next plot. You can see it advances into the next sequence on screen, and uh, you can see the, the data that you received um, from that particular plot. Okay. The volume The volume of this bucket is, is about 20 liters or will hold close to 30 pounds. If you're harvesting higher yielding grains, the H2 Classic and Miris has a uh, strip mode. Strip mode basically um, sends the, into an auto cycle mode once the grain reaches a certain level and then it will, it will cycle and it will wait for more grain to, to flow into the bucket so that you can continue to harvest and fill the bucket up multiple times. When you're done, you press the, the cycle button, it will give you a summary, it will give you a total weight of every cycle, average moisture and average test weight from each, each individual cycle of the grain gauge, um, and then uh, again it moves on to the, on to the next plot. Um, within Miris you've got function keys here where you can, you can look at diagnostics to check and make sure things are operating as they should be um, during harvest. You can uh, set a countdown timer that correlates to cleaning out of the combine. Um, you can relocate using this function to change your, your nav navigation pattern. You can also, um, by pressing this button, you can um, s s create a quick note or an observation um, on any particular plot. Okay. Um, once you're done harvesting, you can exit out of Miris. There's two ways to export data. You can export data um, using Excel. Um, press the ex export button. Um, it exports everything into Excel. <coughs> the other way is to, uh, you can export heat maps. Within Miris, you have a function that allows you to see a heat map, which shows you trends as you, as you harvest and see, um, um, to see which part of the field is yielding better than other parts of the field. And so you can select a field map, uh, then scroll down to where you can see, you know, if you want to look at weight, you can see the, uh, the, the different colors represent different yields for, from every plot. This can also be exported into an Excel sheet, and so it gives you a quick reference of um, how your plots are doing and how, how things are performing. Okay, So with the H2 Classic, as I mentioned, the, the capacity is 20 liters. There's also uh, versions of uh, H2 Single, which is a larger version that has close to 50 liter bucket. Also you can get models in, in twin with two hoppers on top of the, uh, uh, the single for split combines. So um, it's a, the H2 Classic grain gauge basically with its advanced technology gives you the most accurate weight and moisture measurement in the industry. So this has been a look into the H2 Classic grain gauge. If you'd like to learn more about any of the HarvestMaster products, you can visit us at www.harvestmaster.com or contact one of our salespeople.